Um. Hey everybody, I'm Sarah. And I'm Vicky. And we're the Drama Mamas. Yeah, we are. This week we are taking on Heathers. Yep. In which we ask the real question, what is your damage? What's your damage? Heather. Um, Heathers. Heathers is a 1988 American black comedy film. It was written by Daniel Waters and directed by Michael Lehman. It stars Winona Ryder, Christian Slater, and Shannon Doherty. I don't know how she got a starring credit in this. I mean, I guess she... Later on, she becomes slightly more important, but you hardly see her. She yeah, she's not, just as important as the first dead Heather. She is not a star. Yeah, I her agent. But it may mwah. be it may be because that may be how she got her fucking reputation of being shitty to work with. Right, requiring. And it's also possible that she had a larger role and it was cut mm. down. Mm-hmm. That happens sometimes. The film portrays four teenage girls, three of whom are named Heather, in a clique at an Ohio high school. Yes. So, Daniel Waters He's the writer. He has 10 writing credits. So not a ton. He worked at a video store when he wrote this, right? Well, it, it appears you did some research, too. A little bit. A little bit of research. Not much. It was mostly because I was dreading actually watching the movie. Why? I hate it. Well. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Sorry. We were supposed to wait to the verdict. But Oops. I'll drop the verdict later. In much bigger words. He seemed to write regularly on a TV series called Beyond Our Control. Uh, Like, he wrote several episodes on that. Heather's is his second credit. So, he... This was the beginning. And afterwards, he wrote Batman Returns. Batman! And Vampire Academy. Okay. So, he's Uh, like... All over the place. I've heard of Vampire Academy. Yes, it has the I girl from Modern Family in it, but I've not seen it. Yeah, I've not actually watched it, so <laughs> the, I don't have anything to right. say there. Well, I just recognized it. I try yeah. to write down stuff that I recognize, unless it's like a bunch of shit. Michael Lehman, 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 doesn't matter. Lame he, man. <laughs> lame, Lehman. <laughs> He's the director. He has 45 directing credits. He had directed a short before Heather's. Mm -hmm. Heather's is his second credit. Okay. So since then, he has done an episode of West Wing. He did 40 Days and 40 Nights, which is that... um, Terrible movie. I've not seen it, but it's got... uh, What's his name? I can never remember his name. Josh. Fuck. I want to say Gyllenhaal, but that's not it. No. I always... Hartnett. Yes. Hartnett. That's that what sounds it is. right. I hate that movie. It's terrible. And it's also got the girl from A Knight's Tale in it. Oh, I hadn't realized that. Uh, I'm going to say that confidently, but. Don't correct us. We don't care. <laughs> we should make that a hashtag. Mm. So he directed three episodes of Big Love, two episodes of Nurse Jackie, two episodes of Dexter, three episodes of American Horror Story, 15 episodes of True Blood. Okay, so are these, well, there was a time I was going to say, are these the good episodes of True True Blood or the bad episodes of True Blood? But now when I go back and watch them, they're all bad. I don't know. So it doesn't matter. Anytime Alexander Skarsgård is wearing less clothes, you're like, you're like, okay, yeah. Yeah. Like, what? I can dig this. I can dig this episode. Anytime he's sitting in that chair, I'm like, oh, okay. Yep. I'm with you. Yeah. (laughs) You sit in that chair. You sit in that chair and look at me fucking moody. Winona Ryder has 61 IMDb credits. Heather's is her fifth credit. They didn't want to cast Winona Ryder. Why not? Because she had just come out uh, from doing Beetlejuice Mm -hmm. and she still looked pretty Beetlejuicy. She was still pale. She still had that black... I think that's good. It's a contrast to the Heathers. Right. But, um, and they, she looked gorgeous. I thought she, she looked did. so good in this she film. She did. I didn't read Beetlejuice in her performance at all. But uh, they didn't want her because she was not pretty enough. What? Yes. And so she went. I don't. I read it. I didn't write it down. 
well, or I probably copy and paste it. it. But she went and had her makeup done. It wasn't at Macy's, but at some like makeup counter, mm-hmm. and, and had like, them oh. give her a makeover. And then she went in and she got the part. Maybe she went to the guy who did the Princess Diaries. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. Make all the other mooses go wow. Oh. <laughs> So, she did Beetlejuice before, as you said. Yes. Which is the greatest, well, not the greatest movie of all time, but it's probably, like, top three Winona Ryder movies. It's good. It's a good movie. So, since then, she has done Edward Scissorhands, Reality Bites, Girl Interrupted, A Scanner Darkly, which we have discussed before. Mm -hmm. Kind of. Black Swan, and she's currently in Stranger Things. I was going to say, I don't remember. (laughs) Remember, oh, it was in she the Kiss She is Kiss in Bang Stranger Bang. Things. She's the mom. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's so weird. I have a couple of brown trivia. hair is weird. Her brown hair? Yeah. Well, her real hair color is blonde. Are but you, when What? Yep. But when she made her first major film, Lucas, her hair color was dyed black. She was told to keep it that color with the exception of Edward Scissorhands, and it has stayed that color since. That's insane. I can't picture her blonde. In December, oh, now I can. Thanks, Google. <laughs> in December of 2001, she was arrested in Beverly Hills for allegedly stealing clothing items and carrying illegal pharmaceutical drugs without a prescription. Her lawyer denied the accusations, and Winona was released later that evening on twenty thousand dollar bail. Jesus Christ! How much did she steal? Despite her alleged crime, Beverly Hills police just... described her as very friendly, polite, and cooperative, and a nice lady. Oh, you know who doesn't have that reputation with the police? Reese Witherspoon. With the police? Yeah, she got pulled over a couple of years ago in Georgia. Oh, drunk do you know driving. who I am? That kind of thing. Do you know who I am? Oh, that's awful. I'll end you. Shut up, Reese Witherspoon. You're not even relevant anymore. You weren't oh, relevant then. Gone. So she has appeared on the cover of the June 2002 cover of... That said cover of twice. Cover of W Magazine wearing a free Winona t-shirt. Free Winona t-shirts became popular over the internet following her December 22nd arrest with many fans sporting them and purses in support. So, so I don't know if this would have been that. in 2001. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was not internet savvy enough at that time to be with the trends. Hashtag free Winona because I, I bet somebody still has that going on. Ooh, that'd be good. So Blow Christian, it up. <laughs> Christian Slater no. has 120 IMDb credits. Christian Slater can eat my balls. Heather's is his 16th credit. Yep. His first credit was from All My Children, and that is the only thing of note that I noticed. I enjoy, I've, I'm pretty sure we've talked about it before. I enjoy All My Children. I don't think we have, because I don't remember that. Have I we feel not? like I would. I, I, I. I'm lumping it in with when we talked about, like, Mama's Family and Uh, such such. sitcoms. So, since then, he was in Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. Okay. He played the brother. We just always talk about Robin Hood. Well, it's... We're going to do it. At some point, we're going to have to watch it. (laughs) Yep. He voiced um, someone, the guy in Fern Gully. Which guy in Fern Gully? Like, the love interest. Oh, the... Big, dumb. The blonde guy? Yeah. Yep. He's that has to stupid. learn about the environment. He's like, trees. Trees aren't important. Who gives a shit about trees? Oh, the oh. hot girl lives in them? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Fuck you, Christian Slater. Christian I'm going to tweet a mean tweet about you so you can fucking read it on Jimmy Kimmel. Oh, it's Kimmel not relevant enough to be on mean tweets. Dick. So, neither. <laughs> neither. Many of the people on Mean Tweets are not relevant anymore. He was in Bed of Roses. He had a recurring role on West Wing, where he dated Donna. I don't know if you've ever watched West Wing. I didn't know. Just know that Donna's amazing. She's the best character on the show. I don't care what anybody says. And he briefly dated her. I'm uh, biased towards the name Donna Mm. because of Dr. Donna. Ah, yes. Yes. Uh, He had a recurring role in... Alias, he's voiced uh, on Archer. He was in Broken Arrow, which is a John Travolta movie. Okay. I don't think I've seen it, but I remember seeing it in Blockbuster. We're dating ourselves. 
there's no one better to date than me mm-hmm. blockbuster yeah man i remember it used to be really awesome to go into blockbuster on like a friday night and your parents would be like okay you can pick one movie yes and you would be like oh my god i can pick one movie in this entire store and and now blockbuster's dead it's dead so dead uh slight side note zach and i were blockbuster married before we were for real married Meaning you shared an account? Yeah. We shared a membership card, like, in the first month that we were dating. Because we were, we were like, yeah, let's go. He didn't have internet at his house because he's fucking weirdo. And we... Didn't he live way out? He did. He didn't. They didn't actually um, provide internet where he lived, so sorry zach i love you (laughs) but uh so we would go and we would rent a couple of movies and we'd watch them and they were like here's your blockbuster account and i was like oh shit we're married he hadn't even proposed yet yeah did he find that funny he did oh okay he did obviously because we're still together (laughs) if he found it weird he probably would have been like well if i could get my card back I'm going to break up with you now. <laughs> but Shannon, Shannon Doherty is listed as the third star, but we've already talked about her. Oh, but she's so cute in this movie. I didn't even... She I, doesn't look like her. She doesn't. Because she's so cute. It said she was in it. I did the research and I know she was in it. And then I right. started watching the movie and I'm like, who is she? Right. I'm completely... The first scene she's in, I completely did glossed over the fact that that was her. Yes. And then I was like, oh, shit. She was cute. Mm-hmm. Not that she's not, you know, a decent looking person now. She looks good with that hair color. It looks like maybe... Gosh, she was cute yeah in like the 11 year wait no that's not right the however many years i keep wanting to think mall rats is 99 and i know it's not i did the research it's not 99 it's like 95 i think but anyway in the years between the two movies i think she like lost some weight and so like her face seems a lot more angular it does it does but she looks really good in this and if you want to know more about shannon doherty listen to the mall rats episode which i think is episode three i thought that heather's came out in like 1988 it did okay you said 1999 and i was no, like I kept wait thinking what mall rats came out in 1999 but yeah. it doesn't I think it it's came like out 95. in 87 mall rats yeah no bruh 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 who's the faster googler i was just gonna pull up my notes oh 1995 yeah she did this movie first i know i'm saying i think she lost weight between these two movies and it made her face more angular because her face is softer in this movie oh i completely misunderstood what you were saying i was like she did this movie first i thought you were saying that she did mall rats first and i was like that's not true Mm-mm. i had the five right 1985 for mall rats that's so fucking wrong we just <laughs> did this movie it's cool so like 90s malls are still the same as today malls That's 1988 1988 yes. let's talk okay. about 1988 Sorry. that is most importantly the year i was born yes the year that sarah was brought into this world to truly date myself to truly date herself the highest grossing films in north america were rain man oh that's a good one who framed roger rabbit oh, i love that one and big i don't have anything to say about that one You've never seen it? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not where sure. Tom Hanks is a child trapped in a grown man's body. Yeah, no. And he does the piano thing. Uh, no. All right. The Oscar winner for Best Picture that year was The Last Emperor. That's okay. a movie. I didn't know. Okay. Notable news that year. Movie tickets were three fifty. Three fifty. Three fifty. Three dollars fifty cents. That's great. They were ninety nine cents at the dollar theater. Probably 50 cents. Probably, <laughs> probably 50 cents. 50 cents. Australia celebrates its bicentennial. Mm. A new drug, crack, appears. A derivative. <laughs> 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 mm. So Sarah was born the same year that crack came out. Mm-hmm. Coincidence? I think not. <laughs> uh, and is increasingly, increasingly found in new U.S. cities. Mm. Archaeologists uncovered the original Globe Theater in London. Mm. 
U.S. space shuttle program resumes two and a half years after the Challenger disaster, which we discussed that, I think, in the Princess Bride episode. Okay. Because I remember in- talking about it. I don't recall which episode it was. You're yeah. Well, I mean, that seems right. The 80s. Yeah. The first major computer virus infects computers connected to the internet. In 1988. We've talked, we've definitely talked about this before, and I don't remember getting the internet until I was, let's, I was like, it was 1995 or 96. Yeah, it was some time around there. But I guess um, the government probably had mm-hmm. the internet before the people did. <laughs> right. The U.S. stealth bomber is unveiled. Ooh. And using carbon dating is established. Oh, using carbon dating, it is established that the Turin Shroud cannot be the bur- burial cloth of Christ. Oh. So, nope. Okay. Shot down. Gotcha. So that's all the trivia I really have, but it seems like you did some research. Do you have anything extra? I... Extra? I said extra. I I rely majorly on Sarah to do the actual research, and then I just watch the movies and um, write down my thoughts Mm -hmm. as I have them. Mm -hmm. So my notes are my extremely unfiltered... Thoughts. Thoughts. Um, so while I did read a little bit about the movie, I didn't actually write any of it down because I didn't want to double up. No, it's totally cool. Like, Um, you just had some interesting... I don't love this movie, but there were some interesting tidbits. Like, the the director, he had worked at... He wrote this while he was working as a video store clerk, and later on he said something along the lines of... And this is not verbatim. He did it before he knew that writing movies or writing scripts as a video store clerk was cliche. (laughs) And that made me hate this movie that much more. Why? Because fuck him. Nobody says shit's cliche unless they're douche. Mm, Unless they usually say it with a wrinkled nose. That's such a cliche. Shut the fuck up. You're a cliche. All right. So Heather's is about uh, three girls named Heather mm-hmm. and one girl named Veronica. Yes. Veronica is, she doesn't like the way that the Heathers treat each other and other people. No. But she still sticks around because popularity. Right. Heather and Veronica, first they set up how horrible Heather is. Yes. Both this is two people Heather, and other Heathers. We'll say Heather number one. Yes. The top Heather. Yes. The head Heather in charge. The HBIC. Yes. So she and Veronica go to a college party. Heather doesn't yeah. want to leave and Veronica gets sick and they mm-hmm. fight and Heather promises to ruin her and then JD shows up at her house and they sleep together. Very quickly. Yeah. She like shuts down the frat guy like... In a serious way. And then she's just like, mm, Christian Slater dick. Yeah. Yeah. She shuts him down, throws up on Heather's shoes, goes home, fucks Christian Slater in the yard. Yes. That is the <laughs> inciting incident. <laughs> really? Um, the Heather, Heather, Heather talk is oh my God. kind of funny also annoying Mm. heather said you need to come Mm -hmm. i was talking to the other heather like all that stuff and the shoulder pads in this movie oh oh my god and the hair is teased to jesus (laughs) teased to jesus yeah you know tease it to jesus the higher the hair the closer to heaven they're just horrible heather one does have a very funny Line, I thought it was really funny. Well, Ooh. fuck me gently with a chainsaw. Uh, I look like Mother Teresa. I wrote that one down, too. So I thought funny. it was funny. I thought it was funny. They're doing the lunchroom poll, and Veronica's like, we have to ask more than just your friends. Yeah, and we have so they to start ask asking. everybody. Heather doesn't dig that. Nope, she's not into it. She likes to shit on uh, Shannon Doherty, Heather. Yeah, who apparently is bulimic. Yes. I think they tried. I know I said that. Her face was softer, but I think they tried to make her look slightly heavier than the other two. Yeah. They didn't do a good job because she's still super thin. She is. Veronica 
is writing in her diary and she's basically says she wants to kill heather but yeah. it's like dramatic angsty you know like, oh, it's I wish when, she would die oh i hate her i wish i she would just drop off the face of the planet i hate everything about her she's so mean <laughs> whoa my life is terrible i chose to be friends with these awful people then shut the fuck up jd pushes veronica toward legitimate murder Veronica yes. is leaning more toward just a sick prank. She wants to mix milk and orange juice, which, I mean, let's all say it. It's weak sauce. It is weak sauce. It's weak. Uh, it's gross, but I think orange juice by itself is gross. Uh, well, so I like orange juice. I fucking... I like Sunny D, which mm. is not really orange I juice. I bet you like the D. I do. Ask my husband. So he pours a glass of drain cleaner. Yes. She pours milk and orange juice. And mm -hmm. she's kissing him and grabs the wrong cup and he just lets her do it. Yep. Heather dies. He's like, they well, he out. says, wait, Veronica, let me carry the cup. Yes. So that either she won't realize or she won't actually be responsible. Given I, what happens later, I don't think it's the that she won't be responsible. That's what I well, thought at first. I, I took it as him not wanting her to be responsible for the initial death. Yes. Because later on, it's not that she does it willingly. She's just fucking naive. Uh, we'll talk about that. Okay. So, that's basically what happens next to ratchet up the tension in the story. <laughs> yes. So, everybody seems a little bit happier without Heather around. The other Heather, Shannon Doherty Heather, is eating. She's happy. Yeah, she's like, they're like, Heather, you're eating. And she's like, yeah, fuck it. Yeah, and yeah, she, like, you know what? Chicken bone. She, she does. Here's the thing, um, writer and director. I know this film is 28 years old, but uh, bulimia, you eat. You yes. eat a lot. You binge and then and you purge. puke. Yep. Anorexia, that's the one where you don't eat. Maybe she just didn't eat in front of people. Maybe. They didn't make that very clear. They didn't. But whatever. <laughs> Everybody's making Heather one out to be this deep thinker. Oh, gosh. Misunderstood. I thought she was such an airhead, but then she wrote this suicide note, and she was an angel. We meet Jason and his dad, and they're fucking weird. They're so weird. It almost, it, it, it almost implies that he's not actually his dad. Like, they, they keep doing this weird pause before dad, where it's just like, is he his dad? well i like i thought because they come in and he's like hey son jd is to his dad mm -hmm. and his dad's like what up dad it's a weird bit it is a weird bit and i was like what <laughs> why the fuck are you just like trying to force feed us that they're really fucking weird oh okay. i just don't like mm. so then Veronica goes to the funeral and the father has a very funny or he has several lines that are funny. I wrote this one down. We must pray. The other teenagers of Sherwood, Ohio know the name of that righteous dude who can solve their problems. It's Jesus Christ. And he's in the book. <laughs> <laughs> he also says something about MTV video games, like um, as if MTV makes video games. And to my knowledge, no, they did not. I don't. I don't believe so. Um, I wasn't alive yet, but I'm pretty sure that wasn't a thing. At the funeral, Heather 2, I'm going to call her Heather 2 because the other Shannon one Shannon Doherty. No, no, no. Oh. The other blonde Heather. The one that's not mm -hmm, the cheerleader to the movie. She asked Veronica to double date with her and uh, it's, what are their names? Kurt and Ram. 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 I wanted right. to say Rod. <laughs> Same fucking difference. She's like, as long as it's not some, like, getting drunk and going cow cow tipping. That's exactly what it is. But before that, they bully some nerds. Yep. And JD drives by and sees it and watches with a sinister look on his face. Yeah, he has a sinister look on his face most of the movie. Also, <laughs> Luke calls it Jack Nicholson face <laughs> and Jack. voice. Okay. I mean, um, yeah, I could... I, I was about to do it, and then I was like, I can't do Don't this. Do this. <laughs> I can't do it. 
Uh, there's some legit date rape going on mm-hmm. with Heather, too, and her date. Like, he is on top of her, prying things open, holding her arms down. She is struggling. I it's didn't uncomfortable. notice. Oh, I didn't yeah. notice. Like, whenever uh, the dude that Veronica's on the date with is, like, saying he basically wants to get his rocks off, and she's like, Yeah, fuck she's off. like, fuck off. And she, JD's there, and he's just like, what the fuck is this? Like, he yeah. has a horse in that race. Yeah. Uh, just, in the background. Just because you stick your dick in something doesn't mean it belongs to you. Right. Just FYI. So, in the background of that whole scene, mm. Heather, too, is getting, like, mauled. Oh, okay. By her I mate. wasn't. And she's struggling. Like, she's trying to get out I wasn't paying attention It's to very the background. uncomfortable. So, then. There's a lot of. Uncom- sexual uncomfortableness yes. in this movie so then we go to the next piece of the puzzle that really ratchets up the tension mm-hmm. and that is when they kill kurt and ram yes veronica's stupid yes because jd cooks up the scheme she and jd cook up the scheme that yes. they are going to shoot them yes with these bullets that are basically tranks and yes, that's what he tells her. Yes, they're she thinks tranks. they're blanks. And he says, no, they're not blanks. They're tranquilizers. So it's going to look like they're dead, but they'll be fine. They'll she's be like, fine. okay, great. No, that he's, great. He's like, there will be blood and everything. And she's like, oh, okay, so they'll just be passed out, bleeding. Occasionally, you will come across stuff in movies and TV shows where it's almost like you can see how it was written in the script. Mm-hmm. Because he says, my grandpa was in WW2. Yeah. Why would you not say World War II? It's so much easier to say World War II. World War II. Is you easier than WW2. You, you would write it exactly. WW2. As soon as he said it, I was like, that's how it was written in the script. There's no, yeah. no way sh- the writer intended to say. Christian Slater, you should have said World War II. You Infer some fucking shit. shithead. <laughs> Why are you so stupid? So they enact their plan with some gay paraphernalia and they get them to mineral start. water. Well, it starts because Ram or Kurt or whoever she had the date with Kurt. starts telling people, Kurt starts telling people that she like sucked him off. Yeah, him and the guy at the same time, like both of them. And yeah. she calls him and she's like, no, I'd be totally into that. You guys meet me. So that's how it starts. She's really uh, reasonably upset that yeah. he would spread those rumors. Yeah, that's that people shitty. would believe them. That's shitty. Like, that little bitch in the newspaper I would have smacked the shit out of her. Yeah. I, it doesn't even matter if I didn't know what she was talking about yet. I would have smacked the shit out of her. I would have smacked the fucking taste out of her mouth. Smack the dick out of her mouth because I'm pretty Both. sure she's had one. Both. I feel confident. Both. So anyway... She lures them out there. She gets them mostly naked. And then Christian Slater jumps out and he shoots one of the guys. And the other one. In the neck. Yeah. She shoots. And he looks very effeminate laying there. Like, because you can tell, like, he's wearing some makeup. But, like, he does look very. He's very soft. Yes, he is. He's not as um, chiseled as you would expect a football player to be. Yes. But it is 1988, and, and I'm not was, sure if football co- coaches make them work out as hard as they do now. <laughs> okay, so she shoots at the other guy, but she misses. Yes. Christian Slayer gets really mad. JD. JD gets JD. really mad, and she's like, it's okay. Like, he just, he pissed himself. It'll be fine. Like, that. I got my revenge. She's like, it doesn't matter. They're and then just she realizes, dude's dead. Yes. And he chases him all the way back around, and she shoots him. Yes. So this is her, in my eyes, her first real murder. Yes. Even though it was hot blooded, it's still murder, and she did it. Yes, she pulled the trigger. They she the knew cops. at that point that it was real. Yes, that he was going to die. Yes. So then they're in the car. She burns her hand, and he lights a cigarette off of it, which was fucking weird. But I feel like it comes back. It comes full circle later. <laughs> I. You know, I've burnt myself with a cigarette back yeah. oh, when I smoked. Oh, it's not realistic. You can't light a fucking cigarette off it. Well, maybe you're just not as hot as Winona Ryder. Mm, that may be true. <laughs> they attend the funeral together. They do. Why? Tell me. Anybody. You know what? Tweet us. Comment on our Facebook if anybody has the answer to Email this question. Us. Why? 
Are they wearing helmets in their coffins? But because, suits. <laughs> because they have football. But suits. Just football. Because you wear a suit in your coffin. Also, why is there a double funeral? Like, they because they're well gay. Off. Because they're gay. They loved each other enough to kill them. <laughs> allegedly. Kill themselves at the same time. The hippie teacher gets her feely... Oh my god, I hate her. TV crew shows up. JD is highly amused by this. Yes. He reveals that his dad murdered his mom. Yeah, ish. Like, it's definitely, you get the vibe that it was definitely planned. Mm. But he was like, you know, she knew what she was doing. She knew that building was set to blow. But she walked in there and the last thing I saw was her waving goodbye at me. I'm willing to bet that his dad set it to blow and was like, oh, hey, I forgot my whatever. Can you go grab it for me? And she was like, yeah. And he was like, fuck this bitch. So <sighs> JD gets super crazy and she breaks up with him. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Big so mistake. So then we move on to the next major beat. Yes. Where Heather becomes, he- Shannon Doherty Heather, becomes the new Heather one. Yes. With coaching from JD. And Veronica is upset about it and wants to take some sort of action. Yes, because God forbid there be a head bitch in charge in high school. (laughs) Well, she's beginning to become Heather one. Like you can you can have social power and not be horrible with it. It's possible. Not in 80s movies. Right. Or any teen movie. Ever. To be honest. Yeah. JD blackmails Heather with pictures. I don't understand why the pictures are so bad. Did I miss something? I guess she just doesn't want people to know. That she was friends with that person? That she was friends with someone who was not popular. It was Mm. pre-popularity. Mm-hmm. Pre-puberty. You know. No, I don't want people to know we were friends because then the other person has leverage. Mm. No, fuck that. Which was fucking stupid. Veronica starts hanging out with Betty again. Betty and Veronica? Betty and Veronica. What, what? Okay, Heather 2 shows up. Mm -hmm. The new Heather 1 is a real bitch. Yes, she is. And Martha walks into traffic and fails at killing herself. Veronica makes the point that they seem, the media seems to be glorifying suicide, which is just going to reap more suicide. Yes. Her mom has no time for her shitty angst. No. (laughs) She's just like, most of the time when people bitch about wanting to be treated like a real person, it's because they're being treated like a real person. I thought that was such a... I didn't actually write the line down, but that was the gist, and I really enjoyed it. Heather announces Martha's suicide attempt, is really, and she's really mean about it, and Veronica slaps her, and then they just get over it and watch a show where they hear people call in, and they hear Heather, and she pours her heart out. And they're like, she knows we wa- listen to this. Yeah, and Heather, the new Heather one, is not sympathetic. She tells everyone everything she said. Mm-hmm. And Veronica's really itching to bring her down a peg. Heather, too, tries to kill herself, and Veronica stops her. Heather and JD meet again, and she he tells her to push this petition to, to have, have that suicide band yes. play. And At Veronica her confronts prom. her, and they argue, and JD shows up, and he's ready to... To help her kill Heather. Yep. There's a line. uh, Veronica says, Heather, why can't you just be a friend? Why do you have to be such a mega bitch? And Heather says, because I can be. I'm like, if that doesn't sum up these types of people. Right. I don't know what does. Yeah, it's pretty accurate to that personality type. So then we move on to the next major beat where Veronica fakes her suicide Yes. JD admits that he came to kill her and he's upset. He reveals that he had planned to kill the whole school and the petition was a trick to look like a suicide pact. Yeah, it was a really... F- it like, was he legit really monologues weak. about this. Yes. Who does that? Uh, I guess a lot of people talk does. to dead people. Like, people in comas that are, like, they're about to pull the plug and they're just, like, talking to them. Yeah, I talked to my daddy. <clears throat> Yeah, like I guess I people can't. do it, but at the time when I was watching it, I'm like, this is dumb. Why would he be doing this? Well, I thought it was dumb because, like, her parents are downstairs. It it's could come not, up at any moment. It's not like you have time to fucking stand there. I mean, I guess you do, <laughs> but you have time to just fucking stand there and talk out of your asshole mm-hmm. about how you're going to fucking blow up the school 
and fucking. And he's already met her parents. <laughs> yeah. Because he told them that she could be suicidal. Right. Like, what the fuck? Womp, womp. Yeah. And that's what gives her the idea to do it. She's just like, oh, I'll show you suicidal. Yeah. He even pulls out the gun from his fucking trench coat. Oh, that trench coat, man. What up? He's like, I've got this big, stupid looking gun. It appeared to have a silencer on it, but I don't know enough about guns to yeah, know if know. that's true. So uh, if you know, you can tweet us or Facebook us or whatever. Veronica imagines that he's in her house reading Moby Dick. They argue. She calls him crazy in a myriad of ways. She just says it a thousand times. Just like, you're psychotic. You're a psycho. You're crazy. Like, she just says it every possible she's, way. Every fucking way she can tell him that he's crazy. She's like, what is wrong with you? In her fantasy. It's not really a fantasy. They go to Heather's kitchen. JD goes full psycho and he kills Heather. Mm hmm. And then she has a vision of Heather's funeral. Yes. And what the hell is the priest wearing? Did you what? notice what he's wearing? It's fucking ridiculous. It is fucking ridiculous. At first, I didn't realize that it was like a dream sequence. And I was like, is I he just... Either. I was like, is he just running out of priest robes because Until of all these deaths? <laughs> he's just got... He's like, well, this one's going to have to do. <laughs> Until Heather One shows up, I did not realize that this <laughs> was, like, was... I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> right? <laughs> Whatever. He does this whole monologuing thing after she fakes her suicide. He thinks this will be a revelation. Mm -hmm. He clearly doesn't want to live in the now where as in 2017 where no one is affected by anything yeah we don't give a shit her mom walks in thinks she killed herself and then she's like no i'm good she's like oh hey mom yeah i'll be down for dinner so then we have the climax of the film where jd tries to blow up the school and veronica shoots him he she blows his finger off yeah his middle finger that he was flipping at her yes he mistakenly stops the bomb with his knife. He did not actually die, as she had thought when she shot him, and straps Shoot. the bomb to himself and walks off, cleaning the slate. And uh, he blows himself up. That's the climax, pretty much. Yep. Veronica goes to school. She avoids him because he thinks she's dead. And he begins to plant explosives around the school. That, I love that it's that like should probably, legit dynamite. That should probably be before where he blows himself up. Right. Well, that's just, <laughs> that's the beat. And then I'm just going back over oh, okay. what happened. Okay. So you think that he accidentally shoved the knife in there? Uh, I think so. I kind of felt like he did it on purpose to fuck with her. Oh, really? Hmm. A little bit. I thought it was an was accident. Very, he was very mentally abusive. I feel mm. like. Yes. But he had a very fucked up brain. Mm -hmm. I can't think of the word. Sociopathic. No. She tracks him down to the boiler room. She pulls a gun, which does not impress him in the least. <laughs> he overpowers her in a second. Yes. Like, she's already shaky. And he's just looking at her like, bitch. Like, bro, <laughs> you do not have it together. So... She wakes up after he knocks her out. She grabs the fire extinguisher to knock him out. The gun goes flying. They struggle. Basically what I said. Mm -hmm. And so he, he blows himself up. She lights her cigarette. Yep. In the same vein of him lighting his cigarette on her, her, bro burn. or her burned hand. Yeah. Heather or Veronica basically tells the new Heather one that she's going to be taking over as the HBIC. Yep. And she makes plans with Martha. That's the big girl that they had yes. been so horrible to. She offers a movie night with her. And I was and <laughs> in the my notes. Roll. In my notes, I was like, this may be the only redeeming scene in the movie. In the whole movie. Well, I don't know. Pretty much any scene that she had with Betty was nice. Yeah. Because she was never mean to her, even though it was clear that Heather One wanted her to be. Yeah. Um, My thoughts on this movie... I thought in the very first funeral scene for Heather One, it would have been, I know that they weren't really going for comedy, mm -hmm. but I feel like it would have been really funny if she was wearing like blue lipstick or had her lips stained blue from the <laughs> Drano. Yes. Her teeth were blue after drinking it. <laughs> uh, also, she was very surprisingly not cut up yes, for to falling have fallen through, through the glass, glass table. And I love that JD gets the idea because he saw that she was reading the cliff notes of the bell jar. 
Yeah. Like, that's what gives him the idea. He's like, oh. He's like, oh. Like, oh, okay. I hate all of the Heathers. They're all pretty, pretty bad. I would say, of all of them, the least evil would be Heather, too. The cheerleader. Yes. Yeah. I just fucking hate this movie. <laughs> I hate everything. I remember about this liking movie. it more than I did watching it this time. I the first time I watched it, I remember I was like, "Oh, that was like two hours wasted." <laughs> Why didn't you say so? We didn't have to do this well, because it's a cult classic, mm. and you know I've said before that at some point we're going to have to do movies that we don't like. We can't just every week the verdict can't be like, "You guys should watch this," right? Because that would get boring really fast. I mean, I still I think that. It's something that you can enjoy. Um, some people could enjoy this, but is it a great movie? No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't really say it's. A great I movie. I personally would not recommend it to anyone. So that's the. Verdict. I don't think it's worth a watch. I think it's a waste of time. The only thing possibly worth seeing is how fucking cute Shannon Doherty used to be. Mm-hmm. But you could Google that. So, we kind of skipped over... Who's our MVP in this movie? Uh, the priest. <laughs> uh, he's the only one that's not rapey. You know, you know who the MVP is? You know that kid that was trying to... He, was, he had his own petition at the beginning of the movie when, during the cafeteria scene. And then he pulls Veronica out and he's the one that's telling her that... She's like... He's the one who's like, oh, I don't normally listen to this stuff. Yes. What was his name? He I, tells the, he basically tells that I girl to fuck down. off. But he, unless I'm missing something. Rodney. Rodney. Is his name. Because he he, like she's the, the one, he's the one she asked. He's like, she's like, Rodney, what's underneath the gym? Yeah. And he's like, the boiler Wait, was room. Was it the same guy? Yes. Oh, okay. Then, yeah, I would say that he's probably, our, he's a character that, doesn't make any shitty choices. Yes. He is helpful at every turn. Yes. He seems to be, like, good yes. in general. Like He doesn't do anything, like, over-the-top heroic. Right, but, he, but he's also no not... No one in this movie does. No one is a hero shit. in this movie. Well, I mean, Winona Ryder, at the end, she does save everybody that's in the fucking gym. She does, but she also... That could have all been avoided if she had come clean about Heather. Yeah, no, for sure. Like, a lot more people could have um, lived. Definitely, that's why she's not the MVP. Right. I... And she's still attracted to him, even after she they killed her and Ram. She is. She's like, she's I can't like, get him out of my head. I'm she's like, like, oh, I still want to fuck him. I mean, he's, he must have some serious moves because his damn. stroke game must be solid. Uh, yeah, until Luke I said Jack imagine. Nicholson. Like, I think that Ugh. was niggling in the back of my mind. But I didn't put it into words he, until he said that. It is that. very... He's got the, the uh, eyebrows. Yes. And he's got the voice. Like, he has a speech pattern that's similar and, like, yes. something about... I don't know. Uh, I did not enjoy this movie. I didn't. I, I remember enjoying it more uh, than I did when I rewatched it. So... To be fair, when you rewatched it, you had already had me telling you that I did not enjoy it. <laughs> You ruined it for me. I'm sorry. No, I think it's just when you watch something with the intent to critique it, you yeah. pay more attention to things that you normally would just gloss over. Right. So I think that it's possible to enjoy this movie, but I don't know that I would recommend it to everyone. I, I don't. I can't think Winona of anybody. Winona Ryder looks really good in this movie. She does. Shannon Doherty looks really good in this movie. She does. I just don't have a lot of positive things to say. I remember reading that the in the original script he had wanted the final scene to be prom mm-hmm. in heaven because everybody was dead. That was also a really dumb thing where he wanted to kill everyone because no one loves him but everyone loves everyone in heaven. Yeah, that's I'm not like, how it works. First of You're all, not going to heaven. Yeah. If you've read anything of any religion at all, and with you're the not going acting, to the good place. I'm surprised that he believes in heaven. Yeah, he's uh, he's a conundrum. Yes, he is a complex creature. 
so that's that that's that that's, we're, we're closing the book on heathers yeah i yeah i don't have anything else to add to this if you have other thoughts on the movie if you think we're crazy for not hit loving us it up. hit us up we're on social media we have a facebook page the drama mama's podcast mm-hmm. you can email us at drama mama's podcast at gmail.com and, and we are now tweetering we're we're tweeting guys it's happening at drama mama's pod on twitter on twitter uh, and oh yes be sure to if you want to tweet something regarding the drama mamas we would love for the hashtag you trash you nasty <laughs> make it go viral <laughs> make it a thing make it a thing if you don't understand go back listen to the, the princess, princess bride. bride you trash you nasty. you trash you nasty make it happen reach out and rate us on whatever platform you're listening to us on because as of right now i don't think we have any reviews or anything we have no reviews which means we're basically falling on deaf ears which is Um, fine you know whatever we're thankful for it but if we could get more people to listen that'd be sweet that'd be awesome and um, we're working towards possibly getting on spotify but their stuff is really yeah there's like weird a, it, i feel like you have to go on a quest to get through that game yeah it's I don't know that they'll allow us until we actually have regular listeners. <laughs> but we're trying. We're trying. We're working on it. So I think that's everything. As always, remember to save the drama. For these mamas. What? Yeah. Next week on the Drama Mamas. I, I don't know. Like, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the tattoos. I don't know if it's the just the the violence in the name of justice i don't know the perfect unison yeah i don't know if it's the accent but there's something about i them, think it's the accent something about I'm them honest. doing that line where and i'm just the like faces yes. and you're just like hello yes what up brothers you say that